wokenessofs.com. I'm Kristen Burt. Joining us today is Justin Gaston, and so excited to talk about his new Lifetime holiday movie, Santa Boot Camp. Yeah. Justin, this is how I started my day was watching Santa Boot Camp. It was delightful, honestly. Uh, no, awesome. Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I, I watch a lot of these at this time of year because not only am I a fan, but, you know, I'm interviewing a lot of actors. And I have to say that this entire concept plus this cast made it really special. And first of all, you have Rita Moreno joining you. Right. Yeah. Icing on the cake, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, it was... Uh... The cast was the cast was phenomenal and just so much fun to work with. Like Rita, Emily Kinney, uh, Marissa, you know, Winokur, just everybody. Everybody was so much fun to work with. I mean, Marissa and I laughed the whole time and and Rita was so much fun to work with. And just I learned so much from her Uh, and Emily, you know, Emily and I had most of our scenes together. And it's just it's just such a pleasure working with everyone. And aside from it being such a great, like fun, cute script like it really was and you know having melissa joan hart directing us you know uh she was such a a great director and aside from that just like an extremely nice person which you know really helps makes a huge difference so for anyone who is like thinking about watching the movie what's kind of like your two second take on on the entire script because it is a romantic comedy but it (laughs) Yeah. Santa boot camp kind of gives you an idea, but it also focuses on the magic of Christmas too. Yeah. Oh, two seconds. That's quick. Uh, so Emily, more than two seconds. <laughs> so Emily Strauss played by Emily Kinney, which I, I, I couldn't get her name wrong, which was good uh, to both <laughs> Emily. Uh, she, she's a, an event planner who gets hired um, to, to plan this, this big event and she needs a Santa and uh, by the, the, you know, the winds of chance, she gets, uh, she ends up at the Santa boot camp where she meets, uh, Belle, Rita Moreno's character and, uh, Belle kind of stops her in her tracks and, and makes her sort of reevaluate, uh, the beauty of Christmas and the beauty of just life in general. And, you know, I meet her there. I play a chef, Aiden, and, uh, and I'm sort of in a similar situation. Belle has this, magic uh touch of of getting people to to kind of stop going 100 miles an hour and to stop and smell the roses so uh emily and i meet there and you know she she gets the chance to meet all these wonderful santas and then find the perfect one for her her event you know know what i loved about this is that it just the chemistry i think really between you and emily rita and the entire cast Marissa bringing in all of the yeah. amazing comedic <laughs> elements. I, it yeah. really resonated. And I, I, I don't, I'm really a believer. You cannot fake chemistry no. as good of an actor as everybody is. It really does. Like it just bounces off the screen. I, I think I'm guessing that this was a really special experience behind the scenes too. It, it really, it really was. I mean, and anytime like Marissa walks into a room, I just like, we just start laughing and like having such a great time. And she just has that. She just has that about her. She's just such a kind person. I say that about everyone. Everyone was just extremely kind, you know, and I feel like from the crew, you know, everyone just really got along and it, it, to your point, I think that just comes out on screen, you know, because we were all actually really enjoying ourselves. I was in Nashville. So I was sort of back in my other home and that was nice to be there, you know, and, and, yeah, it, it, it really was. Rita was such a pleasure to work with. Just so, so kind, so giving in her, her acting and, and, uh, and Emily, like I said, was, you know, re- really great. She does music. I do music. We all, we just, actually everyone sings. Everybody does. Like, Marissa it was does odd. music. Rita yeah. does music. I was actually, I gotta be honest. I was kind of waiting for like a big musical number to kind yeah. of happen at the end. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. It was we a missed a, opportunity or, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we need, we need a Santa boot camp too, where it's like a musical or something, you know, where everyone sings. <laughs> ideas, saying. ideas. Um, <laughs> You know, yeah. your character is a very talented chef. How are your real life cooking skills? Yeah, it was it was really fun to to play that. I'm definitely more of a baker. Uh, you know, I've, I've I've really gotten into to sourdough and and all that, and I I really enjoy that. So we definitely have a scene where we're we're baking and things get a little steamy. So that was it was fun 
to do that. I, I love cooking. Um, uh, so, but, you know, there, it, it, it's definitely in there, but, uh, I know at one point there was, I was supposed to be chopping some stuff and I think the knife was dull. And I was like, I don't, I'm probably not going to look like I know what I'm doing here, but um, you're like, I don't want to show up these as my knife skills they are much better yeah, than this. <laughs> I can't, I can't really let those out of the bag. Uh, yeah, no, I, I do. I love cooking. Um, and Can you I, tell I do me like, what your signature sorry, sorry. dish is? Like if we go to your house for the holidays, what would be your signature dish? Uh, it's funny. I was just talking about this to someone else. I've started doing a gumbo like on all the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Probably like in honor of my, my dad and like generally like the last couple of years we've been like, we'll like fly into Nashville and like, you know, cause we're not there full time and it, we'll, we'll be in and out. So it's like something like kind of easy I can make. And like, you don't dirty up the whole kitchen, like doing the whole spread of Turkey and everything. Um, so we'll usually just go to a friend's house and I'll, I'll make it. I mean, a lot of the times I feel like we're not doing it this year, but a lot of times we'll be like, we'll cook everything and then we'll clean it up and we'll immediately go get on a plane to like go see Melissa's parents and like across the country in Maine. So it's like, normally we need something easy. So I'll do like a gumbo, but yeah. And then also you're baking. So maybe a yeah. sourdough loaf or something like that or rolls. I probably, I probably would do like a, a sourdough. Yeah. I, um, uh, Sourdough will be tough because we'll be in Nashville and my starter. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Can but you yeah, travel I'll with probably... a sourdough starter. <laughs> you probably can. Fly with it. You know what? I just started. I just made a pumpkin pie right before I left to come to to Arkansas, and I had to make it twice because the first one didn't turn out very good. But I'll probably try another another pumpkin pie because that's one of my favorites. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a holiday classic. Yeah. I have to imagine that that you and Melissa and your two girls are just in the throes of Christmas. They're at that perfect age where Christmas is magical. Yeah. What are some of the rituals uh, that you're doing with the girls right now? Well, it's funny because they've already decorated in LA since I left. Uh, they decorated like the day after Halloween. Um, <laughs> but we'll go generally I, I've been trying to get Melissa to like I'll be like let's not decorate like too soon because I feel like with most holidays but that sounds weird because I, I can celebrate Christmas year round mm -hmm. but I feel like we'll like kind of peak too soon is how I say it and we'll like start listening and watching to things too soon and then by the time the actual holiday gets there we're like maybe over it a little, a little but no we I mean we we generally will like you know decorate and we'll turn on like you know, lifetime and, and just watch all the, all the movies. I mean, that's like a big thing for us is movies. Like we turn on all the movies, we make all the popcorn, we decorate. A lot of times we're in Maine. So we'll go ice skating and play hockey and, uh, um, you know, just things like, like, like that. And you're talking uh, to a new Englander. So I'm like, <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I get it. I'm in LA yeah. now, but I do miss my, my Christmas celebrations yeah. in new England. We do have a, uh, we call it like a Bob Ross off and we, we paint, uh, like we put on Bob Ross in the background and we try to imitate his artwork. And then we have a big, a big prize at the end. Um, we normally win just saying, well, I just want to say thank you so much. I know you are busy shooting yeah. in Arkansas and like pulling this all together. We're all in different time zones and we made it happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. And I hope everyone enjoys Santa Boot Camp. Um, November yeah, 19th. November 19th, 8, 7 central. <laughs> All right. We will watch that on Lifetime. Thank you so much, awesome. Justin. Have a wonderful holiday it was, season. It's a pleasure. You too. Thank you. Thanks.